Everyone thinks it's $1, but here's the twist they all miss. And honestly, I get why this one looks so simple. You see 36 divided by 18 divided by 28 divided by $14, and your brain instantly goes, okay, 36 divided by 18 is 2, 28 divided by 14 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Boom, done, right? Well, not exactly. That's the kind of quick math that trips people up, and it's the same kind of thinking that makes investors misread financial ratios. So let's go through this carefully, like an analyst reviewing a portfolio before making a big decision. Here's where the mistake happens. We're supposed to follow PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. But here's the thing most people forget. Division and multiplication have equal priority. So we don't just jump around. We solve them strictly from left to right, just like reading a balance sheet in order, not skipping numbers. All right, starting from the left, 36 divided by 18 equals 2. Great. Now take that 2 divided by 28, that gives you 2 over 28 or 1 over 14. Now take that 1 over 14 divided by 14 again, that's 1 over 196. So the final answer is not $1, it's actually 1 over 196, or roughly half a cent, about $0.005. Crazy, right? Think about it like compound interest. When you keep dividing your returns, they shrink fast. Every division here is like slicing your investment smaller and smaller until what's left barely counts. That's why investors always check their math. A small calculation mistake can turn a profit into a loss. So the correct answer is 1 over 196, or about half a cent, not $1. It's a tiny number, but a huge lesson. If you've got your own logic or another way to see it, drop it down in the comments. I'd love to see how you approach it. And hey, if you enjoy these quick math investing brain workouts, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone who still swears it's $1. Thanks for watching, and remember, in both math and finance, details matter.